Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 4. My name is Exior, and this is No Lives Left. When we last left off, we uh, cleared out that area and got on the Pruden and killed all them super mutants and Never talked again. to some people. Yeah, and now there's shit going on here. Let's take a look at our quests. Learning curve. Speak to the Brotherhood Scribe. Reunions. That's okay. I'm not all that worried about it. And then a bunch of other stupid shit. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna do the learning curve. If you see or hear anything suspicious, it is your not that. Do you know what a ten-pound cockroach can do to a buoyancy regulator? I guess. That guy just asked me if I know what a ten-pound cockroach can do. Where the fuck am I? Okay, I see. Uh, down here. And then, uh, okay, here we go. I worked it out. It didn't take me that long to work it out, guys. Fuck. It's just, it was just a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna go talk to someone named Brotherhood Scribe. Whoever the hell that is. That is called Megaton Hair. And it's made to look like an atomic... Uh, a mushroom cloud, obviously. And it's just the stupidest fucking thing. Who would do that? That's like... Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. I, I, I could have gone my whole life left in there. Okay, so this will take me to the f ground level. Bird of bird sounds, baby. I wish I could see this happen. Okay, good. All right, so now we're on the ground. We're gonna go talk to where the whole brother inscribe is. Hey, they ain't stopping me. Give me, give me, give me, give me all your stuff. Oh shit, I'm not gonna have to like go, go do the run around here, am I? Almost. Alright, uh, it's very sir. randomly specific. Oh, that's right, we're doing the fucking mission. Okay, I remember. What's the mission? Research patrol. I'm collecting data and you're watching my back, sir. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Yes, sir. This is the area. Lead on, sir. Okay, so he's just gonna follow me and I have to try and keep him alive. Uh,. Good luck, brother. <laughs> Good luck, buddy. You're pretty fucked. I'm just kidding. You'll be fine. <clears throat> okay. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and go with... How many laser do we have? We have plenty of laser. We'll do the laser. Can't talk right now. Gotta clean the Meyer Lurk scat off my boots. Yeah, I know. I know how you feel, man. Um, where the fuck are we going? All the way over there, huh? Let's go ahead and start with uh, somewhere nearby. Many people in the Commonwealth view the Institute as a boogeyman living in the shadows, striking out anywhere at any time, inviting main characters to join them, in which the main character accepts. Very excited to find out about the Institute and join them in their efforts of world domination. I mean, uh, in making uh, a better future for humanity. Tesla Science Magazine. Slight increase to critical hit damage with energy weapons. A 
I see you. I fucking see you there. <laughs> okay. Alright, so first things first, let's take a look around this area. Doesn't look like there's too much going on here. Uh, looks like we're gonna wanna go around this way. Wow, it's pretty quiet where we're at. Whoa! What the fuck was that? That was some bang. Gunshots off in the distance, got nothing to do with me. Time to lag game. What are you doing, man? No, it's just you. Shoot to kill. No, don't shoot to kill. What are you shooting to kill? Holy shit! That vertebrate fucking exploded. What the hell did that? Whatever did it, looks like it's got nothing to do with us, but damned if I'm not a Why little curious. This easy for both of us? Man, shut up, dude. You talk like more than any NPC in the game. You're just like a fucking temp. You're a temp. You're renting NPC. Now come here. I'm not putting up with this stupid bullshit, man. I have a sneaking suspicion you can die, unlike my good NPCs. Terminal. Current orders. Effective August 1st of 2077, all vehicles traveling through designated checkpoint must submit to full stop and inspection. Inspections may include the stripping and deconstruction of suspicious vehicles. Citizens are to wait inside the designated areas during inspection, avoiding communication at all times. At no time will they be allowed to tamper with the vehicle until an inspection has ended. Magazines and other approved periodicals may be available during the waiting period. A civilian may leave once inspection is passed. Should an inspection result in an inoperable vehicle, the vehicle and or all parts will be shipped to the civilians within 10 to 15 business days. Soldiers are... <laughs> <laughs> the vehicle and slash or all parts will be shipped to the civilians? Can you imagine if you went to a fucking place and they took apart your car and then said, sorry, we can't put it back together. We'll send you the parts. <laughs> Damn. Uh, actually, I kind of do, but I don't want to waste all the time. Makes me wonder why I decided to let's play this game. I would love, love, love to waste. Looking for a Uh, hey. This is an emergency message to all Commonwealth Army soldiers. Emergency protocol 17 Echo Charlie Niner are in effect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so get inside, you stupid fuck. This checkpoint has been designated as a safe house in case of enemy invasion, and is currently stocked with additional food, water, and ammunition. This safe house is for military personnel only. Citizens, including non-military family members, will be turned away from that. Information secured? You haven't done anything. You killed some fucking bandits. What the fuck is exploding out there? This is an emergency message to all Commonwealth Army soldiers. Emergency protocol 17 Echo Charlie Niner are in effect. If you are in distress, please proceed to the South Boston Military Checkpoint range. Coordinates are available in your emergency. 
master safe. Holy shit. Is there a fusion core here? <laughs> Look at this, this lady died. Fucking blew her head off and like all the blood splatter up here and just her stub of a neck is slender. Oh god, that's messed up. Alright, uh Ballistic weapons for him to be full of Okay, so that was nice. Uh, is there nothing else here? Was that really just like my entire mission? That shit I could do off screen. I don't want to have to do all that shit on screen. That wasn't anything substantial. Well, it looks like that was it. Let's get back to the prudent. The prudent. The prudent. <laughs> The prudent. I can't get over it. Ah, uh, prepare for the future. Look how happy they look that bombs are coming down. There's like explosions happening like a mile away tops, and the kids like, "Mommy, I want a lollipop!" Like, <laughs> you're all gonna die. <laughs> Is that kid holding a skull? That kid's holding a skull. <laughs> Why is that kid holding a skull? He knows. <laughs> that one's holding. Oh, that one's holding a little dog meat. Oh, he's a little puppy. He's so cute. I love puppies, you guys. Especially German Shepherds and Huskies. That girl's got a baby. And those are nuclear bombs <laughs> in the background. Oh, good. What a nice picture. You're out of place in this picture, Vault Boy. I'm sorry, but you are. Alright, man. Glad, uh, glad we can make it. The last person that disobeyed Captain Kells ended up scraping rust off of the Kridlin's hull from the outside. Oh, man. That's a scary story. Remember this one time I had to, uh,. I had to listen to a bunch of fucking ladies talking, and I don't want to hear what they had to say. It was just god awful. Then there was this other time that people just tried to, like, tell me a bunch of shit, even though I didn't talk to them or acknowledge your existence in any way. How fucking annoying is that with Bethesda games? You guys notice that? Like, you're fucking walking around in Skyrim or something, and everybody's just like, Have you been to the fucking cloud district? And it's like, motherfucker, did I even look at you? Like, does everybody, like, oh, God, I don't know. Attention. Attention. All right. Any personnel who have not completed their annual medical evaluation yeah, should, should report to Knight Captain Cade immediately to schedule an examination. Uh, no. What's our next That period? is all. Quest pops up. An complete, your, uh, complete your medical evaluation. Uh, yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well done. Here's your payment. Now, we do have more scribes lined up and ready to go. Mm -hmm. Uh, no, that's all right. Neither. Not right now. That's unfortunate. Yeah. Unfortunate. Okay, uh... Well, I don't think we're gonna get very much else out of the Brotherhood right now. It looks like I just have to follow, um, the main quest if I want to get anywhere. Uh, anywhere near to the Institute. So let's go ahead and talk to Piper, I guess. And I think we need to have Nick with us for this. So we might as well go do that. We'll go grab Nick. We'll go talk to Piper. Um, and we'll see what's the, what's the happy haps with all this shit. Add Victorium to you. I don't remember what that means, but... Heard you gave those muties at Fort Strong something to think about. Actually, now's a good time to go uh, grab that power armor and walk it the, the hell off the Pudin. So that when, uh, when inevitably I betray the Brotherhood, I get to keep the power armor. Well, they gave me free power armor. It's not like I'm gonna just give that up. It's like better power armor, too. 
It's the best suit of power armor I have right now. Which uh, isn't saying much, I don't think. Attention. I think there's like five different... Halbert pilot to station Epsilon. Halbert pilot report to station Epsilon. That's that is all. Dance. Dance, what are you doing here? Aren't you like my NPC now? Shouldn't, uh, shouldn't you be at the castle? Excuse me, Paladin Dance. Ready to continue our mission, soldier? What's our, what's our mission? That depends. How are you feeling? My power armor systems are within normal operating parameters. So I'm as ready as I'll ever be. You just give the word, and we can begin our mission. No, uh, not now. Not now. No problem. Let me know when you're ready. I will. We'll stop the Institute from Maxon and for the Brotherhood. Yeah, we'll stop the Institute. Don't worry. Let me just go ahead and hop in here. My hat will, uh... Yeah, don't worry about the hat. It's fine. There we go. Oh, yeah. Dance likes that. The mess all isn't bad. Well, as long as you don't smell it. Our vertebrates should give us the air superiority we need. Okay, so now we can get the hell out of here. All these fucking low timers for no reason. Well, for a pretty good reason, I'm thinking about it. Power armor's a pretty good reason for loading screens. Let's 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 just stop for a second and be honest with ourselves. It's a pretty good reason. Did I leave? I think I left Nick at the castle. Be a good chance to drop off, uh, drop off the power armor there as well. I don't really use power armor that often. I don't know. Maybe I'll end up doing it a little bit later in the game. Stuff gets a little more difficult. But uh, you know how stuff scales in this game, so I don't know. I don't know. Look at that thing. I don't want to look at that thing. Get that out of here. Fucking bugs and shit. Ugh. That is not something I'm looking forward to when it comes to whatever kind of apocalypse we end up with. Because that's a thing, isn't it? If, no matter what, if it's zombie or post-apocalypse, like nuclear or uh, fucking aliens, anything. You got big ass insects, don't you? All the time. It sucks. Alright, uh, how are things going here? If we have any more people. Not really, anyway. Why are you doing nothing, Codsworth? Do something. For fuck's sake. Don't tell me you're both standing around. I'd be fucking pissed. Let's ring the bell, find out where Nick's at, and then we'll get his ass over here. Go ahead and drop this off while we're at it. The guy that runs the radio, Preston and that minute man, uh, what's your face? He gave us the artillery. Or helped us get the artillery rather. I'm pretty sure I let Nick come here. Here's the one that actually runs the artillery. She confuses me as to why crazy old lady doesn't do that. What's your name again? Ronnie. Ronnie Shaw. That's right. Okay, so... Where the fuck is Nick? Is he just, like, sleeping somewhere? Nick! Oh, Nick! I don't even know if I actually need his help, but... I miss him. I miss you, Nick. I can activate this? I wonder why I would do that. <laughs> So clearly Nick isn't here because these are all six people that are. Whoa. What the fuck was that? Well, I guess she's on security, so she pulled out the gun. That is weird. Uh, and while I'm here, you're all assigned, right? You know, things you're doing. Assigned to that. Hey, 
Okay, that's beautiful. And you can security for the artillery. Yeah, there's clearly no Nick here. Uh, I don't know what's going on with that. Maybe he ended up back in Diamond City. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Oh, God! Fucking... Ah, scorpions are even worse than just normal bugs. Jesus. Scared the shit out of you. like, rah! And I was like, oh, Jesus. bugs. If I'd ever played like Gears of War or anything like that. No, I've never played Gears of War. Not because I don't like bugs, it's because I just never picked it up. I was always playing Halo. What can I say? And I mean the flood aren't bugs, so it's fine. Get a little off topic here. Jeez, pal. I like guns too. But you think you might be overcompensating there? Excuse me. What the fuck did you? Yeah, you better fucking walk away from me, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, maybe a little bit. I have a lot of guns, but uh, you know what I like? I like mixing it up. Well, well. Hmm. When Nikki Valentine walks into my oh, office, oh, next year. What can I say? Hard luck all seem to run together like acid rain down an old sewer. You, uh, including your client here in that analogy? So, you two are finally letting me in on this little case of yours. What's the story? Ah, uh, well, where to begin? Where do you want me to start? The part where Kellogg turned out to be working for the Institute? Or the part where he told me they have Sean? The Institute. Oh boy. Yeah. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. So the loading screen says. Feared and hated by everyone. It also says that. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night. And sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there. But to this day, there's one thing nobody really knows. Where the hell are Where they? Where the Institute actually is. Or how to get in. Exactly. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg. Huh. Uh, he had access. A man like that would have had access. In and out. But we both know that angle isn't going to work. Yeah, because he's fucking dead. Because he's dead. Because he's dead. So, a murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. Listen, man. I'd do it again. Doesn't matter what he knew. I'd kill him again in a heart. Yeah, for real. Gets his brains blown out. Huh. Brain. You both dislike that? The you man know, murdered my wife in front of me. Man at all. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it'll be Dr. Amari, the mind behind the memories. <laughs> I don't know what just happened, but fuck that. Uh, that sounds insane. There's no way that could ever work. <clears throat> Stay with me on this. Get a piece of Kellogg's gray matter and take it to Amari. Then we see if she's got the goods to pull this off. Jesus, Nick. Gross. Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no leads. Nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. Well, what the hell do we need? Don't we already have something? Actually, I think I already have something. Kellogg had this thing attached to his head. Cybernetics, huh? We may have just won the lottery. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can't all go running across the Commonwealth, so... Who's coming with you? I have to go to the memory den either way, if I'm gonna introduce you to Omari. But if you want to head there together, just say so. Uh, okay, well... I kind of like the idea of all... I don't like Piper, but I like the idea of all three of us being in on this. It kind of makes for a better story than just me and Nick. So I'll 
if Nick's already gonna be there, I'll take Piper. I'll head out with Piper. We'll meet and you then there. Well, all three of us good. Be there. You two stay out of trouble. Don't worry. We're gonna get your boy back. Level up, perfect. A few more steps. Looking forward to it. I wonder how many people are gonna be pissed off when I join the institute. Probably like everybody. Okay, so last time we took one in science, and I'm gonna do that again. Actually, I'm thinking, I'm thinking armors. No gun knife. Okay, the one I don't already have a level two is better. Get some better guns, and I'll take care of that stuff uh, off screen. To have to get do some upgrades and stuff like that. I'm always doing stuff off screen, guys. What do you think I do the other 23 hours and? like seven minutes I'm not recording I work I go to fucking work a lot that's what I do but I also play games a lot so don't worry about it uh okay first of all that quest we failed halfway through that shit that was kind of bullshit any of these uh I got down a timer a lot of these places really need to be I keep trying to just like upgrade the same place over and over again, but these a lot of just what? You don't have to, I could have sworn. Did I not give defense to the Starlight Driven? Doesn't look like it. There's plenty of people there though. Castle. Six people. Tons of defense. Oh, that doesn't need anything. The slog. Okay, yeah, so I have lots of places that I need to get on the fucking ball with here. Uh, enough of that, though. Let's go talk to Dr. Amari. Where the hell is that? A room. Oh, that's not far. Good neighbors. Pretty close. Uh, I think we'll go here. We'll just head up the road. No creature represents the danger of the wasteland as much as the Death Claw, which uses razor sharp claws to rip apart its prey in seconds. So I recently played uh, Far Cry 4, um, just because I was fucking bored. God damn it, you play, you suck. But, uh, I, I mean, the game is fine. Just, you play is terrible. And I got to the part where uh, I killed the legendary honey badger. <laughs> the, the road to its lair was just filled with dead bodies of, like, tigers and bears and shit. Like, a honey badger would kill a bear. And then there's just like, there's fucking snakes everywhere. And I thought that was the funniest fucking thing. And like the music gets really quiet as you get further and further in the honey badger's lair. There wasn't a time in this game I was like, hey, pipe weapons, that's... No. It's always been kind of stuff. Oh, Jesus, what's up, buddy? These claws are scary. They're also cool as hell. I wish you I wish you could have a death claw companion. I think it was Fallout 2 you could have a death claw companion. And you could talk. And then uh, there were mods in Fallout. Uh, at least in Vegas. I'm pretty sure there's one in 3. Where you could have a companion, but... Uh, to have an actual, like, in-game companion as a death, like, death claw as an in-game companion. Like, maybe, like, a runt or something that's just quite a bit weaker than a normal death claw, but still really cool. I would still accept that wholeheartedly. Okay, so, uh, let's go, Piper. We're going to switch the guns up, as I'd like to do. I have a pistol. I do pistols very often. Whoa! Didn't realize you're a bad guy. Mannequin. Okay. I made that work. Uh. What? Oh. Who's there? Oh man, I'm about to get into a fight, and I'm just holding this pistol like a fucking douche. 
Shot our Valor 44. Sit, boy. Oh, God, that was gruesome as fuck. Oh, shit. What the fuck am I missing? There we go. That worked out very well. I mean, it took a little damage, but that was fucking amazing watching that guy get his fucking head off. His body like fell back like a slow mo matrix style. Love that shit. God, this is a good game. Holy shit. It's one of those games just literally everybody plays. There's no reason not to. Like, just so fucking good. This is also a good pistol, I'd like to point out. Like, this is the one I stole from uh, Kellogg. When I killed his bitch ass and sent him to hell. What the hell is that? I don't know. What Everybody's above me, so I'm just kind of. I make more noise, and they're like, "Well, I guess there was nothing there." Just noise. Just noise. The fuck was that? Who's there? I didn't play it. Popping stems, fucker. No. I can't see. Of course you can't shit, I shot you in the face. Ow. Don't get closer, fuck you. Leave Piper alone. That's it! I'm getting upset! I'm very happy it came to that. I should play with melee weapons more often. I don't know why I'm taking this raider camp, but fuck it. But fuck it. Oh, damn. Feeling I should pull out a shotgun for this. Yeah. Hmm. Thinking I should heal a little bit more than I currently have been healing. There we go. Okay. Too much. Yo, psst. take a look. Okay. Tactical heavy combat rifle. That's weird. So tactical about it. Person anyway, and we can't see how stupid it looks. Is there anything else up here? Mm. Not something I really want to try and do. Let's go ahead and just walk back down, <laughs> shall we? Not looking to go jumping off roofs and shit. Although I damn I have to say I'm a little disappointed about the uh, lack of anything that's here. Well, it looks like I could have just done down here. Um, or not? 
What the fuck is this? This just fucking shitty alleyway that just leads nowhere? Some bullshit. I get for trying to be fucking like creative and shit, trying to get out of ways. Whoa. Okay, I'm gonna stop that. what I just like I'm just doomed from the start here I have no way of god damn it Be shooting at me. Can I get in from up here? I love shotgun. You don't have shit. You've never had shit. And now you don't have shit. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on. You don't have anything. Bourbon. Duffel bag. More bourbon. This is not a bad spot, I gotta say. Maybe a little claustrophobic. Hey, stop that. See you later, bitches. Piper, what kind of trouble have you gotten yourself into? Give me your board. Design board. Oh god, somebody shoot me for that one. Holy shit, where am I going? Oh, 
Shit. Okay, so that, uh, <laughs> that was a close one. There was, there was mines there, <laughs> there was fucking people there, and I just came sprinting around the corner. Holy shit. But you know what? It all worked out in the end. And that's what's important. Give me your fusion core. Yeah, playing games with you. Uh -huh. See you. Killed your friends. Bye. Fuck. Double, triple, quadra. Fuck. Oh god, that was so close. <laughs> oh, who put those four landmines there together? Uh, I'm so lucky. Man, there's a fucking explosion just now. If you don't know where I am, I'm not gonna tell you. Oh, good! I made it! Can't believe I didn't die. Holy shit. Let's go ahead and uh, slap on the talking to people outfit and go talk to some people. Every installment of the Wasteland Survival Guide you collect adds a version of the Wasteland Survival Perk, which grants a unique bonus like faster swim speed or double meat on slain animals. Pretty funny that the Wasteland Survival Guide's a thing. Hey, hold up there. First time in good neighbor? You can't go walking around without insurance. Dude, I'm about to fucking kick you in the face. You better back off, or you're the one who's gonna need insurance. What was that? I couldn't hear over the sound of all that pathetic. You hand over everything you got in their pockets, or accidents start happening to you. Big, bloody accidents. Someone steps through the gate the first time, they're a guest. You lay off that extortion crap. What do you care? He ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn. I said let him go. You soft Hancock. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. One day, there'll be a new man. Come on, man. This is me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. Oh. <laughs> I no, that I guy. have to go and say that, huh? Breaking my heart over here. You all right, brother? Uh, yeah, good. I'm fine. Thanks for taking care of him. Good. Now, don't let this incident taint your view of our little community. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. You feel me? Everyone's welcome. Huh. Fear? Yeah, I feel you. Good. You stay cool, and you'll be part of the neighborhood. So long as you remember who's in charge. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's going to be a problem uh, in like five seconds. But uh, I see a gun store here. Hello. Everything? Yeah, that's fine. Uh... What are you? Who? What are you? I'm a woman, baby. <laughs> <laughs> You're a robot. Oh, of course you are. It's just all those metal plates. You're a robot, right? A very womanly robot? Designation Assaultron. Designed to provide a variety of security related tasks to the modern man. Runtime conclusion. Why work for the man when you can work for yourself? News as new designation. Yo. K L E O. Cleo. Fully independent small business owner. Robot enough for you, smooth talker. Now what are you buying? <laughs> I would love. Let's see what you have. Okay. Murder and mayhem at a discount. Murder and mayhem at a discount. I like that. It's very fitting for post apocalyptia. have any pieces of armor. I think uh, Piper's got the armor. 
I can't wait till I can mod this and I'll be able to just access her inventory while, while talking to merchants and stuff. That'd be a cool mod. Oops, I didn't mean to saw all that. Whatever, more of it. <laughs> oh, I am way, okay, can't, yeah, can't stream progress. I'm stupid, I'm fucking stupid. Hey, Cleo. Every weapon you see here could be the different. Yeah. Sure. Let's take a look. Purchase of a ride. Yep. Okay. Sorry about that, everybody. I'm stupid as hell. That'll do. You got anything good? Improve scattered, maximized laser rifle. Oh, see, that's interesting. Cause, uh, what? <laughs> Marksman's fifty cal. Oh. Hello, beautiful. Where have you been all my life? That's not the same kind I have, is it? No? No, it's not even close. I accept. <laughs> a minigun. Something called the Party Starter, which is just the fucking goddamn rocket launcher. Uh, I say that like it's a bad thing. No, it's a pretty damn good thing. Is that a... Oh, okay, cool. Walking cane. Good job. Devastator's right grieve. That's pretty cool. Mm. Damn, nobody's got any fucking good, uh... Good armor. Oh, well, I'm happy about the new gun. Okay, so, that was nice. Let's go see what we got going on over here. Nick should be right around the corner here, I think. Brotherhood of Steel better stay out of good name. All I'm saying. Whoever this. <laughs> you motherfuckers would get rolled over by the Brotherhood. Who in turn is going to be rolled over by the Institute? It's amazing how ignorant these people are. Weird, uh, weird camera angle. Well, well, Mr. Valentine, I thought you had forgotten all about the young man. I may have walked out of the den, Irma, but I'd never walk out on you. Wow, this babe looks hot as hell. Amari's downstairs, you big flirt. What's up, Nick? Uh, I'm gonna have a talk with this lady. Here for Amari? She's downstairs. Oh, you got nothing to say? It's a damn shame, because you actually looked interesting. <laughs> I'm just going to follow Nick. Let's go, bud. No, not that way. This way. Dr. Amari? Yes. I take it this isn't a social call. Uh, not exactly. Um, I'm going to let Nick explain. This one's all yours, Nick. We need a memory dig, Amari. It's not going to be easy. The perp, Kellogg, is already cold on the floor. Are you too mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse, you don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. Do you know anything to say to that? Uh, well, please help us. Please. Nick told me you're the only one who can make this work. This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this, and so do we. Fine. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you have it with you? Uh, here you go. Here's what I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... Wait, that's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Mm, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. Huh. Go on. Go on, Doctor. Mr. Valentine is an older generation synth. But Institute technology being what it is, the brain implant could fit him. That's an incredible risk to take. 
We're talking about wiring something to his brain. Yeah, don't worry about me, Amari. I'm well past the warranty date anyway. Uh, thanks, Nick. I appreciate this, Nick. You can thank me when we've found your son. All right, let's do this. Whenever you're ready, Mr. Valentine. Just sit down. Nope, Nick comes out of this, right? cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? Yeah, uh, pull you out. Let's see here. <laughs> Just kidding. I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be valuable. Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. Static. I, I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. Oh, okay, yeah, whatever that means. The Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. A lock? Okay, is there a way to break it? Tell me you have a way past this, Doc. Let me think. The encryption is too strong for a single mind. But what if we use two? We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. Okay. He'll act as a host while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. Uh, what'll happen? Any idea what I'm gonna see in there? I have no clue. But considering we only have a single piece of the medial temporal lobe and not the whole brain, I doubt it'll be cohesive. Well then, uh, it's a video game, so let's do it. <laughs> All right. Let's get started. Just sit down over there and keep your fingers crossed. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. Thanks. See lady. you on the other side. Yeah, see you, Nick. We're literally gonna be two fucking peas in a pod. What are you doing? Oh, he's getting in the other one. Initiating brainwave migration between the transplant and the host. You okay. Mnemonic activity coming from the transplant. It's degenerated, but it's there. Okay, cool. We're going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. They might not be stable. Just hold on. It's okay. I've been playing this game this whole time. I know about instability. simulation appears to be working, although the memories are quite fragmentary. I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. Oh, this is weird. Okay. There. This is the earliest intact memory I can find. Um... Oh, okay. Remember, you are experiencing these memories as Kellogg. This may prove disorienting at first. So Kellogg and his mom? All five states have now signed on, which means that as of this moment, we are all citizens of the new California. So he became part of the NCR? Such a dummy back then. What did I know about how the world worked? I think now she wanted me to kill him. I should have. Instead, I ended up running away. Kill who? I told Dad? myself I wanted to find somewhere out from under the thumb of the NCR and all their rules. But really, I was running from the guilt of not protecting her from Dad. Yeah, it doesn't matter now, though. Mm, what a joke. Mom knew how it was. She wasn't soft, but uh, she loved me in, in her way. Right. And she protected me from Dad. <laughs> that cost her more than a few beatings. I never knew what happened to her after I left. I didn't want to know. Not then. It's a beautiful. Nothing, Connie. People like to talk and hope someone else is going to keep them safe. The teacher at school said the NCR would bring back the good old days, like before the big war. Don't you listen to that twaddle. I'm going to stop singing you if that's what they're teaching you. 
I'm going out. Where the fuck did you put my boots? Listen to me, Connor. You take this. You're old enough. You're the man of the family now. It's your job to protect us. Your father's useless. But you won't turn out like him. You're a good boy. And all that on the radio. All useless talk. The only thing that will protect you in this world is that gun in your hand. I can agree with that. You need to learn to use it if you're going to survive. To an extent. I... I will. I promise. I won't let you down. You have always been my good boy. This doesn't seem to be what we're looking for. No, it doesn't. There Let's move appears on. to be another intact memory close to you in temporal space. I think Mass Effect did this the best. There. Mass Effect 3 when you were in the Geth Hive mind. Try that one. That was cool. The thing about happiness is you only know you had it. And it's gone. Right. I mean, you, you may think to yourself that you're happy, but uh, you don't really believe it. Yeah. Focus on that petty bullshit or next job or whatever. It's only looking back by comparison with what comes after that you really understand that's what happiness felt like. I was the worst thing that ever happened to her. Uh -huh. If she'd never met me, she'd have stayed in the hub, maybe hooked up with someone who didn't kill people for a living. Oh, that sucks. Probably been happier than she was with me. Almost certainly lived longer. It's Whatever made me think that a guy like me should have a daughter? No, I, I never deserved her. Not for one second. Gonna be fine. You'll see. But we don't know anybody here. And now, with the baby? Come on, Sarah. You've got to give it a chance. I finally got steady work with a good outfit. Nothing like that in the NCR these days. No, I'm not saying this was a mistake. I, I'm just... Are you sure these guys know what they're doing? They seem kind of green. I know. But that's where I come in. Just wait. In a few years, I'll be running my own crew. As soon as I make the connections I need. Yeah. Then I can give you anything you want. A little Mary, too. I never worried about you before. Must be my mama instincts kicking in. <laughs> Who knew I had those, huh? Come on, you're great with her. And you don't need to worry about me. Most of it's just running security for the she. A lot of standing around looking tough. The she. Well, they sure thing? picked the right person for that what job. Is that thing? Listen, it's gonna be great here. See this? This is what's gonna keep you and Mary safe. I promise. I know, Connie. I'm sure we're gonna be really happy here. We are. We'll see. Let's keep looking. I'll connect you to the next intact memory. How did you think this was going to end, Kellogg? <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us, and we wouldn't fuck with you? This is really interesting how this perspective takes place. I'm sorry I'm not just talking so very know, much, but there's a lot of stuff happening. They died like dogs. And you weren't there to help them. Another memory to try. I'll connect you. Okay, so somebody killed his wife and kid. Yeah, I know the feel, bro. Or they say they did. I bet I run into one of them later. Mind if we sit down? Suit yourself. I didn't care where I was going. Ended up mostly wandering east. Getting as far away from San Francisco as I could, maybe. 
There's always someone who wanted someone else dead. Sometimes just roughed up, but uh, dead was usually what they wanted. Sometimes they thought they could cheat me. That was usually only when I first arrived somewhere. Yeah. Didn't matter to me. I just took it as part of the job. A little extra thrown in for free. I always got paid in the end. One way or another. There was always a job for someone like me. Why don't we just talk about this? Didn't matter what it was. Didn't matter who I was supposed to kill. I mean, I guess there's a lot of demand for that in post-apocalypse. I don't remember much from that time. It all kind of blends together. It was almost always a bar, though. That's universal. So, um, I hear you'll take care of people's problems. Is that right? If you pay me. Oh, we'll pay you. And uh, you'll do this all by yourself. That's right. We pay you when the job's done. Is that okay? That's the way you want to do it. So who do you want dead? Well, it's like this. There's his family. Lives down the creek a ways. Well, we seem to be getting closer. Try this next one. I wonder where we get some relevant shit. Mr. Hello. Oh. I'm glad you decided to meet with me. So, you're with the Institute. I wanted to see for myself if you really existed. We do, as you can see. What do you want? It's come to my attention that you've been rather disruptive of our operations lately. This must stop. I do what people pay me to do. If that's a problem for you, I can see only one way out. And what's that, Mr. Kellogg? Pay me. If mm -hmm. I'm working for you, there's no more problem. From what I hear, you can afford me. I don't think you fully understand the situation you're in. <laughs> I think I do. Very well. B-748, initiate. Nice shit. Hmm. Impressive. We may have something to talk about after all. Yeah. Getting warmer. One of these has got to tell us something. Yeah, I mean, at least that was We're running out of green here. Ah. ah, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting now. Manual oh, see, I fucking knew it. Initiated. Cryogenic stasis. Suspended. I was now the Institute's main operator in the Commonwealth. If they needed something done, they came to me. It wasn't usual for anybody from the Institute to come along on a mission, so this one stood out. I didn't know then who it was we were grabbing from the vault. Of course, neither did they. Not really. All computers are still working. I'm glad I didn't have to kill the kid. I'm not saying I haven't done it, but, uh, I never liked to. And yeah, I guess it did remind me of uh, her. Yeah, I'm a cold-hearted bastard for sure, but, uh, I'm still human. Better this way, though. Better than taking her kid and leaving her alive. That's good. Even then, I knew it was a mistake leaving him alive. I understood that kind of revenge. No one better. <laughs> but I was cocky enough to assume I could handle some soft, pre-war vault dweller. Even if he somehow got thawed out. At least I know those Institute bastards will soon get what's coming to them, too. Yeah, we'll see about that. If he could take me out... They won't be able to hide from him for long. Checking through the logs. Hopefully it's all... Just... Find it. Pod C6. Down the hall near the end. 
can just fucking look. At this point, I'm awake and moving around and like, oh shit, what's going on? This is the one. Here. Open it. Yes. I'm almost finished, Kellogg. I just need to confirm. Come on. All right, we're good. I'm, uh, I'm sorry you had to go through that again. I found another intact memory. Whenever you're ready. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Is that your son? This appears to be a very recent memory, so good news, I think. Huh. This whole setup in Diamond City was part of some elaborate plan of the old man's. Seems obvious now that we were bait for our friend from the vault. Timing couldn't have been an accident. It's not how the old man works. Right. I wonder if he outsmarted me in the end. Another loose end tied up. Not yet. Wasn't my idea to settle down with the kid in the middle of Diamond City. <laughs> I thought it was a terrible idea, actually. But it was one of the old man's pet projects, so here we were. Me and the kid. Like a happy little family. Like my family, bastard. I ended up kind of liking it. A reminder of what my life might have been if things had turned out differently. Yeah. But there's no going back. I knew it was just temporary. It'd be back to normal business before too long. I want a gun and shoot his memory. Kellogg. It's okay. One of these days you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like I missed that. it. <laughs> Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Scientist? Left. As in? He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. Wow. Some heads are gonna roll for this. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. I guess I know where I'm going next. So. I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay. To relay with Sean. What? Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. <laughs> Bye. What the fuck was that? Teleportation. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the Institute because there is no entrance. Right. Let me pull you out of there as soon as you're ready.
Well, that was uh, an experience. Sean was at least like, what, like eight or nine. Slow movements, okay? I don't know what kind of side effects the procedure might have. Run around! No one's ever done this before. How do you feel? <sighs> Fine. I'm okay, doctor. Thank you. That's good. But I want you to keep monitoring yourself. We have to be sure there's no long-term damage. Are you ready to talk about what happened in there? Uh... Teleportation. We got what we needed. The Institute uses teleportation to get in and out. Yes. Their greatest secret has finally been revealed. But that only leads to more questions. How does it work? Where do we go next? Hmm... Virgil. That scientist Kellogg was supposed to track down. Virgil. We need to find him. You're right. A rogue Institute scientist could answer all kinds of questions. Where did the memory say he was? The glowing sea? That doesn't make sense. No one goes there. Not even if they were desperate. Why? Why? What makes the glowing sea so dangerous? The name says it all. Radiation. So much that nothing there could possibly live. Nothing pleasant. Navigating radioactive hazards is nothing new. But the glowing sea can kill a man in seconds. Damn. That's why it doesn't make sense. Virgil fleeing into that hell. The exposure alone. Uh, well, it makes a perfect That's why spot. he's there. To make the Institute think twice about following him. That must be it. He's using the radiation in the glowing sea like a shield. Or a cloak, a way to throw them off and be at an advantage. Right. If Virgil found a way to survive there, you'll have to do the same. If you're going to follow him. Yeah, I guess. Anti-radiation? How do I fight that much radiation, Doctor? There are chemical compounds. Radax, Radaway. You'd need as much as you could carry. Maybe more. A sealed environment suit would be great if you could find one. Or maybe one of those suits of power armor. That would be perfect. Power armor suit? Oh, then I can't fucking I'll find a shit. way to get through the rats. Don't worry. Good luck. And be safe. Okay, so we're way over the time. By the way, I unplugged Mr. Oh, no. Valentine first. Remove the implant okay, so while you were waking up. He's waiting for you upstairs. Okay, so next time on Let's Play Fallout 4, we will work on a way to get to the glowing sea. I'll see you then.